frictionless, automated, personalized travel on demand. That's the utopian vision of the future of mobility. A world where connected, autonomous, shared and electrified vehicles have moved society beyond constraints like traffic congestion, car accidents and fossil fuels. Even traditional vehicle ownership is a thing of the past. It's a beautiful dream and advances across an expanding ecosystem of mobility players are bringing it closer to reality. But first, consumers need to buy into it. And that means overcoming some deep-seated tendencies and behaviors. In the 10th year of the Global Automotive Consumer Study, Deloitte looked at the attitudes today's customers bring to tomorrow's possibilities. What did consumers reveal? First, they don't like to pay more than they're used to. Second, they don't like to compromise on their time, personal safety, or privacy. And third, they aren't keen on carpooling, shuttles, or similar shared microtransit solutions. How can we tackle these challenges? Government and industry may have to work together to offer financial incentives that make new technologies like electric or hybrid vehicles easier to afford. New technology that makes electric charging as quick as filling up at the pump could help make consumers even more comfortable with these cars. More education can ease fears about the safety of autonomous vehicles, so can rigorous standards everyone understands. The prospect of sharing data might not be so scary when people experience the value connected mobility can provide. And when a range of new integrated apps make shared vehicles even more convenient, people may start to overcome their ingrained need for ownership. Remember, even if many consumers are wary of these new offerings today, the younger consumers who will make up tomorrow's core market appear much more comfortable with these changes. Overall, they are more predisposed to seek affordability, efficiency, and personalization. Across the entire automotive value chain, industry players and disruptors need to move swiftly to stay ahead of advancing technology. But in the end, consumers will likely pick the winners and losers. Are you confident you understand what they want and what they don't?